Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Let it go. Any result's a good result. <sighs> but this tea was simply tremendous. A truly fitting find for nobles such as ourselves. Yes, but I fear it pales in comparison to the tea cakes you so thoughtfully procured. And yet, far more than the provisions themselves, it is your noble self who deserves the greatest measure of praise for organizing this most festive occasion. My dear Lawrence, you flatter me! Yet I must once again return to this lovely tea which has soothed my weary soul. Truly, it is a testament to your impeccable character and taste. Why, Ferdinand, now it is you who flatters me! Ah, but my hackneyed words could never do justice to a pinnacle of nobility such as yourself. Nay, those hackneyed words have become pure poetry by the alchemy of your noble idiom. Uh... My, what fine examples of nobility you are. The two of you shine brighter than any sun, and make my own visage all the sadder as a result. Good day, Constance. Not feeling well, are we? I had thought to offer you some tea, but... Oh, don't worry about me, Lawrence. I'm quite all right. Well, I certainly won't force you, but do let me know if you change your mind. Hmm. Yes, well, there was something I wanted to ask you. Though I fear it's a rather difficult question. I have all confidence the two of us are up to the challenge. Indeed. There has not been a question yet posed that could stump the two noblest of nobles. In that case, and again, please forgive my impudence, but... I noticed you both complimenting each other regarding your suitability to your noble stations. But it is an impossibility for the two of you to be perfectly equal in this. One must be the most suited, the most noble. So, which of you is it? Which one of us? I fear you misunderstand. This is not a competition, and would be unbecoming of nobles to compare ourselves in such a manner. But are you not constantly comparing yourselves? You are the most noble, nay, it is clearly you, sir, etc., etc. Hmm. You know, you may be right. Now, hold just one moment. It is true that we compare each other in a purely literal sense, but it is only so we might take pride in our collective peerage. And in that we are equal, for there are no degrees of true nobility. Again, forgive me, but it sounds as if there are indeed differences. You merely turn a blind eye to them in order to avoid unseemly competition. In any case, if that is the stance you both wish to take, I'll not press the matter further. Enjoy your shared throne at the pinnacle of nobility. No, wait a moment. You make it sound as if we refuse to compete because we fear losing to the other. Indeed. I had assumed we were sharing a large divan. But if we are actually squeezing ourselves into a single seat, that is another matter entirely. Not at all. You both are wonderful, perfect nobles. Hmm. Uh hmm. Huh. I cannot back down from this challenge. 
Doing so would disgrace my very name. Indeed. We must determine for good and all who of us is the noble most true. A splendid turn of events, and one I am most undeserving of. I knew I could count on the two of you to reach the appropriate conclusion. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, we most certainly are not. In fact, I nominate you to serve as arbitrator for our competition. Here, here. You may also select the criteria. Okay, but I warn you, my eye for talent pretty much begins and ends at the battlefield. Still, I fear you will have to do. In that case, how about we use the results of the next training battle? That should be pretty clear cut. Hmm, yes. A lord must be able to command their soldiers, after all. An exemplary measure of a noble's worth. And you will also bear witness to our personal prowess as well. For a true noble must be able to safeguard themselves from injury above all else. Sounds like a plan. I'll let Edelgard know. To think my off-the-cuff remark would lead to this. But the stakes could not be higher. For the winner will be forever known as the noblest of all nobles in the land. <laughs> Haven't you fanned the flames enough, Constance? We will now commence today's training battle. Defeat every enemy within the time knot. <laughs> Fools! Did you think I would just sit the battle out? Constance? Uh, I see. Well, I will not be so easily outdone. I will prove to all that I am the truest noble. Watch closely, my mercenary friend. There is not a question. Leave this to me. Now it is my turn. Go for it. Just do as I planned. Not a problem. Here I go. is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Not a problem. I've got... I am your man. Lawrence Hellman Gloucester stands before you. There is not a question. Leave... 
My turn. Witness the might <laughs> of Ferdinand von Eyre. <laughs> To me. Now it is my turn. There is nothing. Just do as I planned. Take a breather. General is entering the fray. Their defeat will extend the time limit. <laughs> Problem. is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Just do as I planned. I I am your my turn. Yeah. of this momentum. Second unit, advance. Not a problem. I've got this. Reinforcements, huh? Here I go! One, none shall surpass me. More fodder for my noble personage. Just do as I plan. I shall take it from- There's not a question of can. Only a- Leave this to me. Not a problem. 
My turn. They're no match for us. Damn. Here it comes. Out of the way. You're done. Now it is my turn. There is nothing. Not a problem. Another mock general is entering the fray. Practice will be further extended if they are defeated. Now it is my turn. There I am your man back in the day. Constance and I were the twin flowers of Enbar High Society. And now, the bright red rose of House Gloucester has made that number three. Hold on a minute. I want no part of this bell bouquet. <laughs> There's not a question of can, only a matter of will. Leave this to me. My turn. Officers are mighty indeed. Why the soldiers of my realm can scarce compare. In a physical strength isn't everything. Just look at my house as Pegasus knights. Indeed. Many battles come down to chance. No matter how superior the force, nothing is ever assured. Just do as I planned. I shall take it from here. Not a problem. I've got this. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Fun. None shall surpass my turn. My turn at last. Do you know who I am? You should be ashamed. Fell the most. You were keeping score, yes. Once we get back, you can announce the winner to all. Sure, let me just add things up and. Huh? 
We heard tell of your pathetic little game, and have come to put you in your place. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I can- Just do as I planned. I shall take it from here. Not a problem. I've got this. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Nothing like not a problem. I've got. Hey, what happened with your competition anyway? Oh, Coco won. <laughs> I should have known you would look to interfere. I believe you are the ones interfering with an official Imperial training session. We are really here to do our jobs. <laughs> your churlishness. Practice is concluded. All units withdraw. Stop until I achieve greatness. I Exercise, but now let's have the results. Yes, please. No need to beat around the bush. No matter the result, my pride as a noble will remain as solid as bedrock. In that case, let's get to it. So, after tallying it all up, Lawrence is the winner. No surprise there. I have emerged victorious, as to be expected. 
for I am Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, the pride of all Leicester. Well done, Lawrence. You bested me fair and true. I know some like to disparage House Gloucester's military might, but I saw no evidence of anything but excellence today. Indeed! It seems you're not just the loudmouth braggart I took you for! I think some tea is in order. Let us all raise a cup to your victory this day. A fine idea. You must permit me to lend my magical touch to the tea making. Hold, Constance. I think we can make do without your magic today. We just had a large practice skirmish, and I imagine there are many people trying to sleep at this hour. Your magic makes the tea shine so bright, it could easily disturb them. A point well made. In that case, I'll leave the tea to others and dazzle you instead with my sparkling conversation. This will be the best tea you have ever tasted. For it comes straight from House Gloucester's private reserve. <laughs> And I will provide tea cakes to match. Each one made to order by the very hands of Ferdinand von Eyre himself. <laughs> this will be ever so much fun! <laughs> Didn't you just say people are trying to sleep? I'm starting to think these three shouldn't be allowed to hang out with each other anymore. Time to work you into shape. Power go unused. Even a mule will eventually reach its destination. I must make the most of this ability. Time to work you into shape. Can't wait to see how you do. Care to make yourself useful? on you both let's get it done and you need me for this we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful counting on you both I hope to prove at least as useful to you as a pile of discarded rubbish. I am confident you'll be impressed with my efforts. We all must do our fair share. to block my path, do you? Do you challenge me? <laughs> if so, be warned. None can hope to stand against me in a staring contest. Begin! Meow. Meow. 
You are a gracious loser to accept defeat so readily. I am hesitant even to ask, but what are you doing? Ah, if it isn't Lawrence spying on me, hmm? <laughs> well, if you must know, an insolent feline was blocking my path and challenged me to a staring contest. However, we determined the winner quite readily. Were you witness to my victory? Were you not once a noble? Was, yes, and still am so at heart. In the future, you will see me as both the head of House Nouvelle and the world's finest mage. Then it seems I must adjust my perception of you. I always knew you to be a striking beauty who possesses a keen talent for magic. I was even considering you as a candidate for marriage, should you happen to reform your house. But now, to find you competing with a house cat... Uh, I beg your pardon. Pray disregard my words. The gall required to consider a woman as a mate and subsequently disqualify her in the following sentence is staggering. Staggering, I tell you! You are a coarse, vulgar, indecent boar! And were I ever under consideration for your hand in marriage, I hereby withdraw any and all possible interest! Also, you are the head of House Gloucester, yes? Why would I ever hope to marry into a house of such meager standing? How dare you! The magnificent House Gloucester is anything but meager! I do dare, and have done! <laughs> and while I know not of your status within Leicester, House Nouvelle is steeped in tradition, with a bloodline closely guarded and unbroken. I find it hard to believe that joining your house is worth uprooting that. Well now. I can hardly back down from words such as those. We of Gloucester are legitimate descendants of one of the ten elites and inheritors of a hero's relic. Long have we held a seat at the Alliance Round Table, why we are among the most distinguished houses in the whole of Leicester. We are no less valuable than House Nouvelle, who, may I add, were condemned to extinction by the previous Emperor. It seems our allegations are doomed to never reach a point of agreement. Then I suppose we have no choice but to compete, that we may determine which of us is superior. But as our previous match of martial prowess ended with no clear winner, perhaps we should find a different way to settle this. Choose whatever battlefield you wish, Lawrence. I shall ever be the agent of your doom. <laughs>